Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for being here. My name is Danny, and my name is Luna. We appreciate you guys being here. <laughs> so today, I'm gonna be doing a monochromatic makeup look. So the colors that I'm gonna be using are like pinks, like hot pinks kind of. So yeah, if you're looking forward to that, just keep on watching. Go ahead and give this video a like, as well as hit the subscribe button down below. And hit that notification bell to let you know every time I post a video. So, let's keep on going. First and foremost, I'm going to start with primer. <laughs> Luna wants to be with me. If not, she will throw a fit. So, this is like my third time trying to film this video. Yesterday was just not my day. Um, so first I was trying to do this other kind of look and then the eyeshadows or just the color scheme was just not working out so I ended up scratching that out and then I started over and tried to do like a pink look and I didn't realize as I was filming I look at the camera and it says my storage was full so yeah so this is my third attempt. So I'm going to start with the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil, the shade Neutral Brown. Anyways, I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Build Your Own Palette that I made. The colors. I'm going to go in centerfold, this one right here. And just like with a nice small fluffy brush, I'm gonna go in to my crease. With this fluffy brush, with no added product, I'm just gonna blend that out. And I'm going to add it to this part as well. It sees the day with like a flat fluffy brush. I'm going to apply it all over my lid. fluffy brush and try to apply it. This is coming out pretty patchy. Or maybe because I didn't set it. But I don't think that should be an issue. If anything, it should grab more. Watching the show Elite. I'm barely on episode three, I think. And so far it's pretty good. Um, it's like suspenseful, like it keeps you on edge, like for me at least, like who did who committed like the crime or whatever, and you kinda like put pieces together and suspect or like what even happened. But yeah. And then yesterday, I didn't realize until pretty much it was done, but I started watching Lock and Key. That one was pretty good. That one is more like fantasy, like magic kind of stuff. Like more in like the super sci-fi. But I, I like 
left it. I just really want to extend this. I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Dewy Foundation. The shade Desert Beige. Desert Beige. I can't even say it. I'm gonna clean up above my eyebrows. And then my concealer. Same one. With the collab ultra fine loose setting powder not using that if fell on the floor please if your sponge falls on the floor don't use it now with the brush i'm just gonna set the rest of my face because I'm not trying to get all that dirt on my face with the sponge. Since I'm looking a bit powdery, the Urban Decay All Nighter. I guess for the meantime, we can do our under eyes, right? So I'm going to go with this flat brush, little fat fluffy brush with that first shade I used in my crease. Okay, now closer to me, under eye, I'm going to use this really flat, I think it's supposed to be for liner or something. I'm going to go in with that dark color I put all on the lid to save the day. I'm going to put it as close to my lash line as possible. And connect it to the outer part. And now I'm going to go back in with that fluffy one with the lighter color and blend that out a little lower. Let me blend that line. With this one, I'm going to blend that line even more. This ColourPop Creme, Color Pop Creme Gel Liner in the shade Loverboy. We're going to put that in the water <laughs> These lashes are the Coco Lashes in the shade Queen Bee. They are my favorite lashes ever. They're on the wrong side, but this is what they look like. I'm going to let the glue dry. We'll do our contour. Shoot, I set my face already. I was going to use this cream one. I don't know if it'll mess up the powder, but... Well, see, I guess. Next, I'm going to go in with this contouring palette. Like I was saying, I want to be really snatched, and I never really use this. But it's the Wet n Wild contouring palette in the shade Dulce de Leche. I think my lashes are ready, so I'm going to pop. There's that one. I might just put a little bit of eyeliner just on the inner corner. Looks, we'll put some mascara, the Bad Gal Bane from Benefit. I'm not putting the other one yet because it wouldn't stick, so I had to redo it with this angled brush I'm gonna really chisel her out like is it me or does it look very ashy I just don't like it can you 
Did I see that? The ashiness? Like, the different contour products that I've used, that's just what happens. I'm going to use a Milani Baked Bronzer, the shade Soleil. I'm going to warm that shit up. Because I am not having... I'm gonna wipe all that away. For the lips with this Smashbox lipstick, first I'm gonna line it with the same eyeliner I used in my waterline. <laughs> It's their Be Legendary Lipstick in the shade Famous. This. And then with the Anastasia St. Tropez lip gloss. Can I add that on top? Some all nighter setting spray. So here's the finished look. But yeah, guys, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Um, it is more laid back, just kind of going through, see what we come out with, but I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, as well as be a subscriber, so hit the subscribe button down below, and that notification bell, because why not? I hope I see you guys next time. Bye!